Daniel Sports Center will be over an NFL game preview and prediction on the 2022 wildcard matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals. Big matchup for both these teams coming up here in the wild card round. Of course, you got the Rams who barely won the division over Arizona. These two teams are uh, division rivals. And Arizona looked like this team was going to be the most dominant team uh, in the nation and in the entire league for a long time. I mean, Arizona was undefeated for a long time here, but they kind of fell off down the stretch. And Arizona doesn't look like quite as dominant of a team as they were at one point this season, but still a uh, big opportunity for the Cardinals going up against a division rival here in the Rams. We'll be going for a full game preview and prediction on this match here today, starting out with your team. Trans Rams lost to the Niners 24 to 27 in overtime to finish out the regular season. And Rams were pretty dominant for a long time there in that matchup, but the Niners in the end got the win. And the Rams at number four uh, finished out the season at 12 and five. So yeah, not a bad season for the Rams. I mean, 12 and five is not a bad record uh, by any stretch. And Matt Stafford, of course, at quarterback. Uh, I, I personally feel like, I mean, Matt Stafford is, been a bit inconsistent down the stretch. I mean, he's had some excellent games, but at the same time, uh, definitely got to um, lay off on the turnovers if, if the Rams are going to want to uh, make a deep playoff run here. But for the Cardinals, lost to Seattle 30-38. to Confusing loss there. The Seahawks, of course, uh, not a very good football team this season. And uh, Arizona got uh, – they lost that game pretty terribly. But they're 11-6 and to finish out the season. And once again, I mean, Arizona finishing out the season 11-6 and is pretty surprising. I mean, this team was undefeated. They were 7-0. and And – uh, many people thought that they were the best team in the league, and uh, including myself. But Arizona, of course, once again down the stretch, they uh, took a few tough losses and not quite as good of a team as we once saw here a couple of months ago. But game will be on Monday, January 17th, Inglewood, California. So Rams are the home team for this matchup. Kickoff time is 5.15 p.m. Pacific, 8.15 Eastern. Spreads going Rams here by four. So Los Angeles, not too surprising seeing the Rams favored here. And it is a close spread as well. Over under is 49 and a half and your fpi is going rams as well 58 percent so moderate scoring game is expected here and the rams are favored series history uh, rams lead at 47 to 39 win streak is the rams by one and in the last five actually uh, the rams have done just fine against the cardinals winning four of the last five some recent matchups rams of course lost to the niners and it's kind of interesting how the rams i mean they just have had so much trouble with san francisco they're i mean that's the one team that they've had trouble with um, in that division and I mean, Arizona, it's a good football team, too. But, I mean, if you look at them, once again, they've lost four of their last five. And it makes a big difference because you got the Rams who have won four of their last five. But on the flip side, it's the exact opposite for the Cardinals. So, yeah, that is concerning for Arizona. But Rams down the stretch, if you look at some of their games, beat the Ravens by one, uh, beat the Vikings on the road by a touchdown, beat Seahawks by 10, and beat Cardinals uh, back on December 13th by seven. And as for Arizona, lost to Seattle 30-38. Uh, beat Dallas. That was a huge win, 25 to 22. A uh, big road win there. And uh, however, they did lose to the Colts there on on Christmas, 16 to 22. Lost to the Lions in one of the most confusing games of the season. I mean, 12 to 30 against the Detroit team, which was I would I would say the worst team in the league. I mean, you got Jacksonville as well, who uh, rivals them, them up there. But I mean, Lions are still a terrible football team, and Arizona got embarrassed to say the least. And uh, they did lose to the Rams by a touchdown there. Um, about a month ago and then of course for some key points Rams 12 and 5 Matt Stafford he's shown potential this season and honestly I'm he's kind of um, I mean he's had a good season but it's just the inconsistency has been a bit of an issue and he's definitely have to be more more consistent in the playoffs here if, if the Rams want to make a deep playoff run which the Rams are extremely capable this team can make a deep run in the playoffs potentially get to the Super Bowl I wouldn't be surprised like Arizona I don't really see Arizona making a deep playoff run potentially if they win this game but I just don't see them getting past Green Bay or Tampa um, if they if they end up beating the Rams here but Rams on the flip side I do I do see this team potentially making a run for uh, the Super Bowl and maybe even going uh, the distance and having a deep playoff run so we'll see what happens but Cooper Cup of course leads the NFL in receiving yards can't forget about him arguably the best receiver in the NFL uh, statistically he is and the, I mean the defensive side of the ball they got several impact players as well. So, I mean, Aaron Donald and, I mean, this defense, Jalen Ramsey, definitely it's, it's going to be a tough defense to go up against for Arizona. And, I mean, if you look at the Cardinals, start out the season 7-0, and or 4-6 and six ever since. So that totally shows just uh, where this team has come down the stretch. They started the season undefeated at seven wins, and uh, they've lost six of their last ten. So, uh, definitely keep an eye on this team. But Kyler Murray, also a player to keep an eye on. I mean, Kyler Murray's been excellent this season, and, uh, definitely he's got some incredible talent and 
regardless of what happens in this game for Arizona, this team's got a bright future, if you ask me. Kyler Murray, uh, he continues to get better. And yeah, Arizona, uh, definitely a team to watch out for in the future. But defensively, they also have been inconsistent too. So, I mean, if you look at their defense down the stretch, allowed 30 points to the Lions, for example, and their offense, uh, I mean, that game was just extremely confusing for a lot of reasons. But yeah, nonetheless, looking at your records, 12-5 and for the Rams and 11-6 and for the Arizona Cardinals. But that makes sense. Let's get to the prediction here for Rams and Cardinals here in the wild card round. I'm going to go Rams here. 20-24 is my predicted final score. Rams are just the better team here, and I feel like I'm just much more confident picking Los Angeles than Arizona in this situation. I mean, Cardinals down the stretch once again have been incredibly inconsistent, and even though, I mean, are the Cardinals capable of winning this game? They very much are, but the Rams, I just once again feel like with Matt Stafford, I mean, Matt Stafford has also had some inconsistencies, but uh, talent as a whole, I'm much more confident with the Rams, and I feel like this defense uh, gets it done. They get the win 20 to 24. I'm going to go 55% towards the Rams. Over under, of course, is 49 and a half. I'm going to take the over for this game as well, and the Rams to cover um, the spread. But it's going to be definitely going to be a close one. I mean, most divisional games like this are, and in the playoffs, I would I would be surprised if it was a blowout. I think it's going to stay close all the way up until the very end. But the Rams in the end. Once again, are the better team. They get the win 28 to 24. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this game, and I appreciate you guys all watching. As always, stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.